Okay, this is a follow-up tutorial and this will cover inserting an image on an article and its alignment, the margin around it and whether when you click on it it launches a larger version of the image. This is the dummy page where we're going to insert our image about here. Um, so if you have an open another tab with the back end of the site and log in and then go to that article, so we'll go to article manager and there's our page, the dummy page. You select that or the article that you're working on. So you choose vertically on your page where you'd like your image and then we adjust its left or right alignment. So I'd like it just at the start of the second paragraph, so I'll put my cursor there, and then we find this editor button, insert edit image, and click on that. Okay, again you can choose an image that you've already uploaded, or you can upload images as you work. If you're doing the latter, make sure you store your images in the correct place so that well, just for good housekeeping and you can find them later on. I'm going to put this one in uh, News Picks 2012. So this is the area I'm going to store my image. And then I choose Upload this button here. And it gives me another window where I can browse to find my image. Here's the image I'm going to use. Now I know already that this image is about 1200, 1500 pixels on the wide side, um, which is unnecessarily large. Um, now what the system is set up to do is to automatically resize files as they are uploaded. Um, I've set this at 800 pixels on the widest side, which should be totally adequate for showing an image at a large size. If you want to give people the full high res image, just deselect this checkbox and it will upload the complete file. But using this technique, it keeps um, the overall size of your site um, down to a sort of, you know, it doesn't make it unnecessarily large. Um, here you've got the option to rename a file up here, which you can do. Probably make it's good to make the file name more relevant to the actual content of the page. So if we were writing a page about trees and leaves, it might make sense to rename that file. Um, Beach leaves because it also helps people find your content through search engines if you name the files relevantly. Also down the bottom is a thumbnail option. Um, this is by default it's on and what it does it makes a smaller version of the resized large image which is suitable to sort of drop on your page. That's up, you know and again it will crop it to. Um, Sorry, it will resize it to 300 pixels wide on the longest side. So if we hit upload here, you can see it doing its magic and progress bar going through and we get a green tick. And there is our large image. You'll see this one is 800 pixels wide. In the thumbnail, if we select that, you'll see that's 300 wide. So the resize has happened as expected. So we're going to choose the smaller one because that's fine for on our page. Um, leave the URL field here. In the alternate text, a few, this is for people with um, impaired vision, so they'll be using things like screen readers which read out the alternate text instead of the image. So we could put uh, beech tree leaves in here because that's what the image is of. 
you'll get a little preview of what the image looks like and its alignment and padding on the page here. You can actually set that to the right if you want, but if you do that, if you change the right margin to zero and the left margin to 20, that will keep it nice and tidy. But I'm actually going to set it back to the left as alignment. So I put the padding back to 20 on the right and zero on the left. Okay, that's all we really need to do here. So if I hit insert, you'll see the image is placed as we wanted it. If we just hit save and have a look at that on the front end of the site. There we go, that looks nice. Now what if we want to offer the user to see a larger version of this image by clicking on this thumbnail? I'll quickly show you how to do that. You'll have seen this on, it's quite a popular technique on a lot of websites. So if I just undo, remove that image, I just selected it and hit um, backspace or delete. So again, we put our cursor where we want the image and hit the insert edit image button. But this time we choose the pop-up tab at the top and from the pop-up type drop down menu select JCE media box and then if you select the large image because that's what you want to show in the pop-up there we go and it then asks do you want to use the associated thumbnail for the pop-up link so that's why we have the system set up to create thumbnails automatically for every large resize. So the two are available to work as a pop-up together. So if I hit yes, so you can see the URL here is saying that when you click the image it will point to this larger image. If we put a title here, this will actually appear as a um, a little hover tool tip when you hover over the thumbnail so this could be um, something like click for larger image and then the caption is displayed under the image when you, when you're seeing the larger version so we could actually give this a relevant caption so beach tree leaves. Uh, don't worry about the group fields. Pop-up icon is a little sort of like a little icon. It's a magnifying glass that helps. It may sort of indicate that there's a larger version available and we can set this. I usually set the position to bottom right. Um, don't worry about the other settings at the moment. So if we hit insert, so it's inserted the thumbnail, the small version on the page. If we just save and go to the front end and refresh, you'll now see this magnifying glass icon at the bottom right of the image. And you'll notice when I hover over the image, the cursor turns to a hand. If I click, you get the large image pop up in this window. I've made a slight error there in that we didn't need to put the, um, well you can see how it works. That's the, 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 the green type here is the title and this is the caption. So you can use both of those if you want. But obviously this um, caption text needs to be more relevant. Okay, there ends this tutorial.